Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Chanel Mitchell. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion and perseverance thank you you may now be seated today is wednesday december 14th 2022 now let's take a nice and relaxing brain break Those brain breaks sure are helpful. Now let's go learn a new word with word of the day. Hey Aiden, how did you do in the test? I heard that you studied really hard on it. Well, I got disheartened because even though I studied really hard, I still got a very low score. I'm sorry to hear that, but you shouldn't lose your confidence just because you got a grade that you didn't want. You know what? You're right. I shouldn't feel disheartened because of that bad score. I'll make sure I study harder next time and to not lose my determination. That's a game model. See you tomorrow, tomorrow on Word of the day. day. Thanks for that new word. Now let's go to history with Melon. Hey Patriots! Today in history on December 14, 1972, Apollo 17 marked the last lunar mission in the 20th century. This mission was the last time Americans walked on the moon. Their names were Eugene Cernan and Harrison Schmidt. The NASA mission lasted 12 days. NASA is a space and aeronautic company that launches many missions that help us learn about space. Did you know that two days after the launch, an oxygen tank exploded on board? Apparently something happened with the wires, causing an explosion. Hmm, I wonder why they stopped sending people to the moon. Maybe one day humans can go back. Now let's see what's cooking with Alexander. Thank you, Melanie. Today's tasty lunch is mini corn dog, turkey and ham sandwich, sweet potato fries, diced pears, and a piece of milk. Tomorrow's breakfast is sausage breakfast pizza, Graham crackers, fresh apple, 100% orange juice, assorted cereal, and your choice of milk. Students, keep in mind that lunch could change at any time and always remember to bring your lunch card. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, now let's go back to Chanel. Thank you, Alexander. Super Patriots, this instructional software challenge is coming to an end next week. Take a look at the flyer to see what is required. Let's finish up those lessons. Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. It is important to make sure you have your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times. And also, don't forget you are not allowed to chew gum in school. Make sure to spit it out before you enter the building. Students, you have every morning till 7.55 to shop at the Patriot Store. Make sure to go on your day before it closes. Tomorrow is the 7th and 8th graders turn to buy some cool items at the Patriot Store. Don't forget your tickets. Keep getting in the Christmas spirit by participating in this month's Christmas theme activities. Tomorrow, December 15th, be creative and do holiday-related activities in class. The holiday shop is here and is open till December 20th, so take a look at the schedule to see when it's your time to shop. Now let's watch this video to see the holiday shop. Hey Patriots, we're here to let you know the holiday shop has finally opened. So, Chanel, what do you think about the holiday shop opening? I think it's awesome, but I don't know what to get my family and friends. Don't worry, we got you.
I hope you're all excited for the holiday shop. I know I am. Teachers, make sure to participate in the annual holiday door decorating contest. All entries are due on December 20th and winners from first to third place will be announced. Can't wait to see all those festive doors. Patriots, for all fifth through eighth grade students interested in cheer, there is a cheer meeting after school this Thursday. Parental permission is required. Check weekly email from Ms. Cavell for the permission slip link. Cheerleader tryouts are on January 11th for 5th through 8th graders only with completed sports packets. Cheer camp is coming up January 2nd through 5th for all 5th through 8th graders interested. Complete sports packet and registration is required. For any questions, see Miss Stone. Now see what the weather looks like today with Destiny. Thank you, Chanel. Good morning, Patriots. For today's weather, you can expect 86 degrees Fahrenheit with partly cloudy skies. Today is the color run, Patriots. Make sure to have some fun outside and have a colorful time. In other weather news, have you heard of a cold stunned sea turtle? When a turtle or any marine animal is cold stunned, it means it becomes inactive and weak due to water temperatures dropping below 50 degrees. Unfortunately, this happened to 15 stranded sea turtles. Even though it's sad to say this happened, the South Carolina Aquarium is nurturing them back to health. Thank you, Destiny. Today's birthday boys and girls are Carla Vargas, Adrian Hernandez, Olivia Labrador, Celine Moynadine, and Amelia Vomi. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Chanel. Thank you, Sophia. Patriots, here are your Pat's expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Unfortunately, no one got the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was how do lizards communicate? The correct answer was they communicate by doing push ups. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge! How many blocks are there? Teachers, please send your answers to pinestarrenaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day.